Weather Rate Certified Most Accurate Forecast in Central Texas. This is Fox 44 Weather with Chief Meteorologist Mike LaPointe. Record high temperature today here in Waco, topping out at 95 degrees. We actually tie the record that was set back in 2008. So well above average, 97 the high today over toward Gatesville, 93 Temple, 97 in Colleen. Look at Lano. Checked in right at 100 degrees in the shade. Current temperatures across the area with mainly clear skies. We've got 85 here in Waco, 87 right now in the Brownwood area. It is 82 in Mahay and down toward College Station. Current temperature right at 85 degrees. Heat index, what it feels like right now, not bad. There's a little moisture out there. So down in College Station, it feels like 86 degrees. 85 in Colleen, and you can see up in Hillsboro, the current heat index at 84 degrees. As we take a quick look at those winds, they've been out of the south for most of the day. And again, that's that warm and uh, some moisture being moved up our way around a six right now in Mahia, a three mile per hour wind in the Hearn area and over toward Burnett. We've got a south wind right around eight miles per hour. So again, that station in front just right on top of us. And again, it played a part basically on how hot we were going to get today. I think the farther to the north, it would have uh, kind of migrated. That would allow temperatures to get even hotter. We'll say upper 90s instead of mid 90s like we had today. So that front is going to be hanging around here and that's going to be a uh, play part a little bit in our temperature fluctuation. So let me show you what I'm talking about. This is at midnight. Sky is still mainly clear here across the region. Clouds start to stream in. So part of us, at least from I-35 and back off to the east, mostly cloudy skies. The farther back over to the west you go, you might see mostly clear skies to start today. We're going to be in the upper 60s to around 70 degrees. As we go throughout the day, skies becoming mostly sunny for all of us. And again, there's that front right on top of us, not making things easy, is that is it? That's for sure. I think temperatures again, 92, 93 degrees or so should be high temperatures here in Waco. A little bit hotter just south of the front over toward Brownwood in the upper 90s. And as I put this into motion, there's the front slowly lifting a little bit. And these showers and isolated storms, you see, those are going to be moving our way late Wednesday, but it looks like by early in the day on Thursday, they may still just be off to the east uh, of, or actually I should say off to the west of us as we start today. This is at seven o'clock in the morning. As I put that into motion again, it's running into that stable air. It's running into the cap, so it's also going to be falling apart. And as we hit the afternoon hours and evening on Thursday, partly cloudy skies. There may be a few more clouds, especially to our north and down to the south of us, but temperatures should be making it into the 90s. As for tonight, though, we've got clear skies out there right now, increasing clouds overnight. And I guess there's going to be that fine line tomorrow morning. Who's seeing the clouds and who's not? But I think I-35 may be the divider with areas west of I-35 looking at the clear skies. And then tomorrow becoming mostly sunny in all areas, 92 degrees the high, southeast winds at 5 to 10. Now, as we look ahead here, partly to mostly cloudy on Thursday, 90 degrees. And remember those showers and those storms out in West Texas? They're going to migrate as an MCS. That's basically just a cluster of showers and storms overnight into our area. At least try to get into Central Texas on Friday and Saturday. And that's why I have just a 30% in. But another disturbance gets in here with the dry line on Sunday as well as Memorial Day right now. And that's why rain chances are higher on Sunday and Monday. At least a 50-50 chance of showers and thunderstorms. There's always the possibility of severe weather. It's not real high right now, but you know what is the chance of heavier rainfall. So we need to watch for heavy rain on Sunday and Monday. There could be a couple of inches of rain. So that's something we don't need at this time with all that rain we had Friday night. And you'll notice down toward Bryan and College Station, kind of the same thing. I wouldn't cancel any plans, especially on Friday and Saturday, but Sunday and Monday just have maybe plan B ready to go just in case it's raining at your house or maybe in your backyard for your picnic. Otherwise, you can see temperatures are going to be in the mid to upper 80s. It's a very typical. You always can count on some kind of active weather, Adam, as we hit Memorial Day here in Texas. It happens every year.